Hey, good morning, Betty. How are you doing? Good morning, Gaetan. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, we're adjusting the light here at the last uh, what, <laughs> Okay. We are so happy to be here this yeah. morning. Hey, listen, folks, if you're a, if you're a fan of the Dog Connection TV uh, page, we've been having uh, technical difficulties. We hope to have it uh, resolved soon. So in the meantime, we're going to be uh, broadcasting on a, uh, a Good Dog Day show, uh, but we'll be sharing it as before. So we'd appreciate it if you guys would help us out on that too. And what's today's topic, Gaetan? Well, uh, the, the topic is uh, bomb sniffing dog. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's like, uh, look very uh, serious. It is useful. It is a service that the dog provide to us, uh, both locally in the country and abroad and uh, so the first question is uh, what is a sniffing dog right what is it it's a dog sniffing yeah i was just gonna say so yeah. it's a bomb sniffing dog it's a dog which is trained uh specifically for uh detecting bomb product so there's a number of chemical associates with bomb and the, the dog are trained to detect the specific compound, these specific, excuse me, the specific chemical product, and okay. paper, and the dog can detect like one part per million. Uh, it's so uh, so sensitive that it can detect like a the minute trace of a bomb component, and uh, so they are trained in. Uh, I. I have a PowerPoint presentation. If you give me a chance, I will try to show you some image of the dogs in training. Or better, I have a video. Why don't we go to the video and then okay. we carry the conversation about uh, the, the training, the type of uh, uh, work they can do, where, when, how, and so on and so forth. So let's try to share a screen. And okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to say hi, Ellen. Hi, Ron's here, my brother. Hi, glad you guys are here. Yep, great. Uh, nice to have you guys. We are going on with the show, no matter what, no matter how difficult <laughs> yeah. the yep. situation can be. And uh, we are going to prevail. And yes. The... Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. Share screen audio. Right. Thank you for this uh, little note. Yeah. I'm and here to this, help. Thank you for your support. And this is uh, from WTOP a Network in Washington. And it's a, a report about dog sniffing, uh, bomb sniffing dog with the TSA at the airport. So let me click on this. Click there. And put this the out. To detect any type of explosive material. So they pick it out of this, uh, the air, and then they follow it to their source. Walk around the concourses, both public sides um, and by the airplanes. We also do queue work. So as passengers come in, they are in a small queue, and the dog goes around and searches every single passenger as they enter the queue. When the dog detects something, um, it's trained to give a passive response. So if it's not moving, then they will either sit or down um, as close to the source as possible. If it's moving, she'll follow and try to get as close to the source as possible. The main thing to say about when you see a canine team is they're working and they're most always working. So stand still, sit still. Um, the handler is gonna work around you, um, especially if you see a dog respond, um, just stay exactly where you are and listen to the handler's commands. Well, that's great. Okay, so that's an that, that's a remarkable. Yeah. That's an example of work done. Uh, I will stop sharing the screen because there's nothing to share. So there's an example of work um, of the dog in the domestic theater, quote unquote, uh -huh. at the airport. And um, I would like, uh, I seems to be hesitant this morning. I'm not hesitant. I have my paper. I have everything ready. <laughs> I did the research. So I'll try to collect myself. Compose okay. myself and say, You're fine, you're fine. <laughs> okay, so shake it off, shake training. It off. Uh, uh, what kind of dog are used for the training? And this time I have this PowerPoint presentation to show you 
And hopefully with the God, the grace of God and the grace of the God technology, I'll be able to share yeah. that. The technology with, God. Yeah. And uh, let's see what we have here. Chrome. Uh, yes. PowerPoint presentation. I will share that with you. And I will do the play from the beginning. And uh, I'll go breed by breed. You might want to take that off um, Ellen's comment. Okay, let me come back to the studio. And uh, let's take the comment down. Sorry, Ellen. Okay. Nothing personal. Go. Nice to see you there. Let me see if I can change the slide. No, I cannot. But I can do it if I go. No. Not, well, Down at the bottom on the left, I think you can go backwards and forwards. Yeah, but I have to be on the tab like that. And then, okay, I'm in the backstage. Uh, you see me. I don't see you, Kathy. I don't see anybody else. So let me go like at lib, like I'm doing a radio show. I'm my little okay. girl, German short-haired pointer. This is one of the breed uh, very, very commonly used for sniffing, bomb sniffing dog. Uh, that's one of the breed. The uh, you might recognize the the dog um, and the shape of the dog there. Another one is very well known. Everything was supposed to be center before. Now it's not. <laughs> German Shepherd. German Shepherd. Not much to say about it. Origin Germany, and uh, very well known in the canine unit of different police and the army corp. Uh, right both in the US and abroad. So that's uh, not nothing more to do to this. This is the Belgian Malinois. So Malinois is a, a beautiful variation. dog. It's a beautiful dog. It's a variation of the German Shepherd. It's a it's a cousin, I will put it that way. It's a it's a cousin of the German uh, Shepherd. And it's a very, a very skilled used in Europe a lot uh, in France, Belgium, Italy, Spain. Other country, Vienna, uh, they are used for a canine unit, sniffing, bomb detecting, drug detecting. And this is a one nice breed. All these dogs are, I would say, medium, the, in the range of uh, 40 to 60 pounds. And their eyes about 20 to 25 inch at the shoulder. So that's the kind of size dog you have here. There's some variation from breed to breed, but you will see it's uh, it's it's in that Gabari range. Labrador Retriever, well known, very puppy, very nice dog to work with. Yeah, great with kids. Just a super gentle dog. Yeah, Golden Retriever is uh, the the more stylish. If you this like is my style. favorite breed. It's yours. Yeah. My my very favorite breed. Yes, the faces on these dogs are are just phenomenal. Very much like the Labrador Retriever. Both right. of them I like, but I yeah. do like the longer haired Golden Retriever. Yeah, they're just so good with everybody. Yes, I agree with you. Um, so the next one is a very interesting breed. Uh, until this morning, I did not know the name of that breed, and it's called a Vizla. Yeah. It's a Hungarian uh, breed uh, from Eastern Europe, and it's a very, very efficient dog in sniffing. He has a very uh, energetic, loyal, quiet, gentle dog, uh, perfect for a public setting, for uh, uh, inquiry or researching or documenting or finding and, you know, whatever needs to be researched down, found and detected. That's that's the boy to go to. And uh, so that's the main breed used for um, uh, bomb detection. The uh, the process. Okay, you do, you, we lost the PowerPoint. I just turned off the PowerPoint. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, thought... <laughs> I, want, I want to see you. W wake up, wake up, Kathy. I thought you were showing more. That's. Okay, I have more. Fine, let's go back there. Chrome no, that's tab. okay. You didn't have to. I'll, I'll carry on because the balance of the story is more the training. Okay, this is the two variations of the Visla, the brown and the gray. And uh, so here's 
the situation is the uh, airport in this case, but this is a situation where the trading is going on. I don't see, uh, I hope you see clearly on your screen. Um, may I see? Yeah, I can see, but I cannot change the slide. Okay. So all these tin can contain a chemical product. One of these tin can has a microscopic amount of chemical product associated with bomb. So the dog has to go and find minute microscopic amount of these component and detect the bomb. And it's it's a labor of love, I would say, that the handler needs to be extremely patient and the dog needs to learn to sniff and find the component. And little by little with time, the dog become very, very profi proficient to uh, detect the chemical product associated with bomb. And you were about to say something? Yeah, I yeah, I was going to say, well, this kind of reminds me of last week's show when um, uh, Maria uh, Godavich was on, the one that wrote Dr. Dog, when she was talking about the, the the incredible ability of dogs to the nose, the noses have such such high level of senses mm -hmm. that they're able to do this. So they, it's, it makes perfect sense that they would be bombing, bomb smelling dogs. Right. And since you already talked about Maria, oh, it's planning to show a video and then link Maria with a video. But oh, I screwed that up. Oh boy, <laughs> it just reminded me of her. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Yeah. There's nothing okay. wrong with that. So the training in the in in a civilian theater, as well as a military theater, is similar. I I, I went through a number of video. They follow basically the same process. They are looking for the same component. Uh, bomb is a bomb, and no matter where it's coming from, they basically use the same chemical component uh, that the dog can detect. And that's what go for bomb. There's different type of bomb, as you know. You, you, you have the sophisticated military grade bomb, C4, for instance. Uh -huh. You can have a bomb made out of uh, alcohol and other chemical with a, a, a spark plug from a car uh, attached to a battery with a relay activated by a cell phone. That would be an improvised bomb there. Uh, and um, so the, the dog will be able to detect what is associated with this uh, bomb product. So it's a very uh, unique skill that they develop. Uh, we'll go back in the PowerPoint. I'll move slide. So this is another case where these, you know, smell, sniff. Uh, office space, things like that, where a bomb can be deposited in a civilian cars at the border and the police service. I go, oh, what faces! Oh, I love those faces. Yeah, so the guy is at the police station, he's a police dog canine unit. And uh, I, I just try to move to the military theater. And in the military theater, there's a the, the use of the dog is detecting bomb. That's for sure. And we have a case here where the the dog is basically sitting on the bomb. Wow. Literally wow. sitting on the bomb and pointing out that, hey, there's a bomb here. Don't don't get close. Yeah. Literally putting their life on the line for yes. us. And uh, they work at night. And they have an extraordinary sense of uh, vision at night, uh, contrary to the human. Uh, they can see things that nobody will see. They can hear things from a distance that nobody can hear. And they can smell things that nobody will ever smell. So sometimes they are oh. injured. And uh, sadly, some will pass away. Yes. And yeah. uh, Thank you for your service. Yes. Thank you for your service. So this is uh, the slideshow. Um, Excellent. Very good. Very informative. Thank you, my friend. To have a, a brief overview of the uh, use of the dog in uh, in this context, there. 
the uh, I have a I have some video, and you already talk about the yeah. Maravage, and I came across this nice video from her uh, associate with her work, and uh, I would like to share that with you. I have, yeah, I, I think her her uh, called Freedom Dogs. I think that that's the name of her book. Yeah. Well, she's written a number of them, so I think it's Freedom Dogs. Yeah. Well, it, yes, I have a I have the cover of the book. Oh. Sure. <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what it is? Hey, folks, for those of you that don't know, Gaetan and I have a little bit of, uh, well, not a little bit, but quite a bit of mental telepathy. I'm able to think something and he's he's doing it or vice versa. So it, somehow in my subconscious, I must be picking it up, right? Yeah, two thumbs up. Okay. That all the time. I know, all the time. Which I'm is working on a project thing. and she called me, Gaetan, did you do a project? I got an idea. And then he says, I'm already doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So here we go again. I guess I, he had it already planned. We did not rehearse this and this, our shows are never scripted. So uh, I did not know what he's going to be showing, but I guess I did. Okay. On with the show. Sorry. <laughs> okay. We are researched. We did the research on the show. So let me go to the crab dome, uh, chrome, chrome tab. Sorry, crab dome. And, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Grab. Chrome. Tab. Grab. Hey, it's dyslexia. I could use some good laughs today. <laughs> dyslexia when it's kicking in. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, let's see if we can have a giant screen here, full screen. And this has been converted for our show today. So they were doing uh, clearing operations out there looking for. Uh, for the bad guys pretty much and uh bombs and they found both of those out there doing their jobs Good dog and a good handler. I mean, you know, a team that can't be reckoned with. I mean, what the team brings to the fight against the war on terror, I mean, it, it can't be stated enough. So it was named Soldier Dogs. Soldier Dogs. What did I say? Freedom Dogs. Close, close. It was <laughs> one word was right. <laughs> okay, I, I have this uh, picture. I get ready for this moment. Okay, is this a drum roll? No, no. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just to. Uh, oops. Why? 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 Because I, I don't know do it. And oops. Oh, that's the wrong tab. No, it's not the wrong tab. It's the right tab. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, it's oh, one of those days. Okay, here days. we are. It's this one. I yeah, it is. So you you see the slide? It's yeah, uh, so Culture it's Dog, true story of canyons. It's Maria Godavich. She was our guest last week, and uh, she's doing a fantastic work. She was uh, to document her book. Uh, she was there. It's not somebody. She didn't not read from somebody else being there, but she did went there and look at what they were doing, and she was on the on location and uh, exposed herself. 
Right. Some serious, 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 serious danger. Right. Just have to do her book. Book exceptionally good. Uh, well received, awarded. New York Times number one bestseller. One of her right. number one bestseller book. And uh, I'm moving the camera a little bit. Okay. So we're adjusting a new computer, a new camera, a new system. And uh, that was uh, our intent today to present um, the dog sniffing, bomb sniffing dog. And uh, yeah, and and listen, folks. Now, as far as our, th this is a little short show, as as opposed to a, a the longer hour ones that we do, but. Um, we're going to continue to do shows on a Good Dog Day show and when the Dog Connection TV is back up again, then we'll actually be broadcasting live on both of them simultaneously at the same time, the same show. Uh, so we'll be multi-streaming and then we'll also be multi-streaming on, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, on YouTube as well. Oh, good yeah. morning, Sebastian. Hi. Hi, Sebastian. Hi. He, he's a good friend, a good resource, and uh, uh, like my son. <laughs> uh, oh, and Ellen, what did she say here? She said that uh, it's a, uh, you're talking about uh, Maria uh, Godavich. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, yeah. All of her books are really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And so, uh, just uh, in a, just for the closing, you might remember in May last year, I did a video called Thank You for Your Service. So I was thinking to uh, play the video as a closing perfect. For today program. And if it's okay with you, I can go there and uh, select the video and uh, close on that. So I would say this is it for today. Thank you for being there. Thank you for the audience. Thank you, uh, everybody. Tell your friend and all of them and more. We are now on the Good Dog Day show for the coming days or week. And we or will month. be or month, whatever the time Actually, is. Like I said, we're going to do both at the same time, no matter what. We're always no, no matter the difficulty, uh, nobody the difficulty, the technical issue we can have, uh, we will prevail. The show is at uh, on Thursday at 12 noon central time. And at what time is the show? Well, Thursday, 12 noon, no matter yeah. what. We were laid by a small yeah. 12 second today it's my fault <laughs> hey, my, my brother just put that my sister-in-law barbara their dog's name is chloe and chloe's watching the show too so she she's happy hi chloe hi barb hi ron oh and sebastian he loves the video oh he loves our our video and audio quality well thank you thank you thanks for what thanks for That's your comments sebastian yeah and share your story with us show. we're still collecting your story from uh, dog story and uh, we'll do a special one day of all these story coming from our audience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't be shy. Send your story to Kathy and or myself at the Good Dog Day Show or the, the Picture Connection. What is the best way to reach you, Kathy? Uh, at uh, Kathy at the dog connection dot TV. Okay. That's and me. Uh, you know what we'll do? We'll post a link for you to submit your story. Uh, yeah up in the description after the show is over. Okay, great. So let's see that video. All right. Uh, I'll okay. thank you for I'm your service. <laughs> and uh, we'll close the show with that. Thank oh, you, everybody. Way, this is a video that Gaetan designed and, and developed. So this is not something that you can get anywhere other than through our shows. Okay. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. He's going to share the screen now. Yes.